Hello and welcome to Rule of Thirds, a conversation about art, design and culture with your hosts Burns, Mike and Jude. If this is your first time listening, welcome to the family. Be sure to follow us on our Instagram at Rule of Thirds Pod. Don't be shy to say hi. A question about the arts and the craft. If you didn't know, then it's good that you asked. You tune into the culture. Just a rule of thirds if you want to. You could tune at work, yeah. You tell me, does that frame fit good? Does it feel right? You want to steal a photo for your website. But you want a logo we can design, right? Yeah. So, our passion's truly a waste of time. Today's episode, we discuss a conversation between Ali Abdo and Patricia Bright, which raised a discussion about whether we should follow our passions or not. What are your thoughts? Uh, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> hey, happy Easter. Happy all of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. Bad. We're in a good mood. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Um... <laughs> Um, yeah, man, we're back again, episode 32. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> He's saying, <A>. Mac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, season's greetings and all that good stuff there. <laughs> yeah. oh, <laughs> Keep it open-ended. Yeah, yeah. yeah. season's greetings, <laughs> season's greetings, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, man. <laughs> Time for celebration, man. You get me? Yeah, yeah. time for celebration. (laughs) Yeah. How's how's everyone doing? Oh, man, good mood, man. Yeah? Yeah, man. But hay fever and my wisdom tooth is... It's trying to damage me, but... Giving you bass buffs. (laughs) Yeah, man. It's long still. I mean, the weather was nice last week as well. Yeah. Mm. Oh, my God. There was sun. I think it was like Friday. um, On Friday, yeah, the sun was out still. (laughs) It was definitely out, but... I was seeing, I think my mic was wearing like some tight shorts. <laughs> 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 I'm joking, I'm joking. But first of all, these these tight shorts I wore were loose. Thank you. No, they're definitely loose still. They were definitely loose. I am not a what? whore. <laughs> oh. Oh. I like yeah. some. But you know, Ooh. yeah. No, no one here, no one here. No oh, okay, okay. Oh, cool. you know, good funds of... of um. Christ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where he was going to go with that one. So. But yeah. Uh, yeah but man. how you doing? Yeah, I'm, I mean, other than your tooth. Yeah, other than my tooth, I'm mm. good, man. Um, West Ham won um, mm. on Thursday. Last Congratulations, Thursday, yeah. I guess. Yeah. So we're into the semi-finals of European competition. I'm going to try to go to the game. Um, hopefully... You have like a seasonal past. I've got a member. Um, oh, you're really into it. Oh yeah, I got. I only got it this season though. But I want to get a season ticket eventually when I've got some money mm. or some spare money. Is it like crypto? Huh? There's no investment. You're not making I'm no saying, money. I'm but you're making investments. So I'm wondering, is it like crypto? Do you like, get a you ROI? Get a, yeah, yeah. It, enjoyment. Ooh, okay. I was gonna say, uh, sir, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You know, some like maybe it might be a thing where it's like you're betting. Some people. No, nah, no. Nah, so literally, it's like I don't know. Um, Let's say, yeah, is that basically you get to go to you get a particular seat allocated to you for the whole season? Oh, oh that's cool. do you get what I mean? Oh, okay. So you basically you pay like um I don't know one point five two two k, oh, wow. and you basically get um that we get priority anyway, right? And you like you get the tickets immediately. Oh, that's wavy. And I think you get a discount rate as well. Um, nice. So yeah, it's pretty sick. But eventually I will get it because it will be nice. Um. So yeah. Yeah. Wink, wink. Birthday present. Wink, wink. Or Burns, wink, wink. Um, uh, if someone got me a season ticket, my goodness, that'd be crazy. But um, it it starts in. Well, I mean, you have to <laughs> register. For just it. in case you're gonna get it, <laughs> it starts. You have to get it like in the summer because that's the start of the new se- before the new season starts. Mm. Okay. But yeah, man. Other than that, I'm Kushti. I'm good. What about you, dude? Kushti. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Are you serious? Kushti. I'm Kushti. It's actually. Um, I'm not from London, so I don't know. I don't oh, know. Yeah, this, I'm cushed. Yeah, sticks. Chung Ting and all this. <laughs> I must say, Chung Ting, these weird, weird terms. But yeah, I, I'm good. I'm good. Um, yeah, I'm good. Mm. I mean, there's not much to say. I've kind of just been like head in the sand, sand bean work. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just to be specific. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've been good. Yeah. Anything yeah. fun you've been working on? Like, um, you can not NDA. I'm so done now. <laughs> um, a, f- a few, a few, a few stuff, I guess. 
Oh wait, you're asking you asking yeah. <laughs> <laughs> specifics. Yeah. Um, I mean, specifically, more so for like DJ Studios, just yeah, like. Yeah. And what is that for the people that don't know? Oh, DJ Studios is, I suppose I could probably just say it's my outlet for like mm-hmm. the creative side because mm-hmm. most of the time when I create stuff is very visual, online, um, digital, that's the word. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of like my avenue to kind of put things out. So right now there's some prints left if you want to go get one. Cool. Where can the people find these oh, prints? Yeah. The prints are, eesh, I'm too close to my <laughs> Um The prints are uh, DJ, that's D-U-J-E dot BigCartel dot com or you can just go to my website which is DJStudios dot com mm. um, but yeah so just like a little um, I'm doing a few things there I've ordered some stuff that are meant to be coming but because of how COVID is playing around so there's a mm-hmm. lot of things that are all over the place but yeah it's just kind of like fun time to kind of experiment with things really That's good. yeah other than that though, I'm good That's sweet Yeah. Nice. That's how sweet. are you Mike? Me? I'm alive <laughs> Hey. I'm no no in a, yeah good yeah I'm, I'm alive. Is there an update on last episode? Yeah, what's yeah what's going on? Oh, did you punch him? <laughs> uh-uh. Whoa, Whoa. No, none of we that. We don't condone that. that behavior on the rule of thirds. No, no violence. All views. No violence. <laughs> <Are not supported>. <laughs> <laughs> no violence. Um, no, it actually went really well. So, um, spoke to my manager and was just like honest and let him know how I was like feeling in regards to like my own creative like personal practice as well mm-hmm. as like work and finding that balance and. Well, not finding that balance because I felt like I wasn't really finding balance. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he was really like supportive. And then our head of creative, I think that's as well. Is cre- yeah, head of creative. Mm. Um, spoke to him as well. Like coincidentally, he like booked a meeting for like to meet a lot of us. Oh right, okay. So like obviously like my manager passed it to him, and yeah, similar conversation, and like they're really supportive. Haven't handed in anything like formally because of like finding dates, okay, the right date, but like it's gonna be soon. Um, but yes, yeah, like semi-official since i've like told them so they're like expecting so they're any, expecting any day now. yeah pretty much oh. so yeah How i'm excited excited yeah, like really job. exciting i think um i feel good i feel like I know, I know. i'm excited for what's gonna happen even though it's not like concrete mm. it seems like i i know like there's like a bit more fire under my bum to like. Actually, like <laughs> that's a, you see what I'm saying? You Londoners, man. It's a phrase. What, nah, you Londoners. What's this? What? No, I don't know what that's. No, are, you, are you guys serious? You've never heard of fire like. What's that? What's fire, that? Fire under your bum. Um, <laughs> <laughs> <It's just, laughs> no, I beg your pardon. But, but, okay, I'll okay. Beg your no, we get. Yeah, get, get, fire get, under your bum. Give me like. No, a, that's jokes. Sorry, uh, Something more f- um, familiar. Kick up the backside in okay, order to get okay, stuff done. Okay, Is that okay, right? Yeah, Is that yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, knew, I knew that one. Yeah, yeah okay. I knew that one. So yeah, just <laughs> basically like one. a bit more like drive, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, so course. I'm excited for that. But it's sad, bittersweet because obviously that'll be great. But then I'm going to be, you know, leaving great yeah. team of people, great people in like other departments that I've got to know and friends and stuff too. So mm. yeah, man. Can I ask you a question? Ask away. Can you do it? Yeah, <laughs> but you do it. <laughs> you know, you do it. Would you say you're following your passions? <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! I was so ready. I'm like, yeah. you know what's so annoying? I didn't even see it coming. Yeah. I think you put in a plate from yours. Oh. Like, oh, this is a perfect. <laughs> this bloody, well, bloody since question. You were about this. Yeah. Right. I would say yes, mm. and I think we should give the people a bit more context as to <laughs> where this question kind of comes from. Right. Okay, okay, so, so yeah, yeah, often, often when, when I speak, so, so when, when I speak to people who are maybe in their sort of early to mid twenties and they're having that crisis of I don't know what to do, mm. um, you know, you a know, lot of the internet would say, "Hey, find find, find your passion, passion and follow that passion." I don't believe in that. Oh, you don't believe in that? Don't believe in passions. I actually think that's so dead. Sorry, I just interrupted you, but I I don't believe in like the idea of following a passion, especially if you're broke or you're hungry, because. Passion Passion may not not put food on the table table, and passion passion isn't going to pay the rent, rent, right? right? So So once once you've you've been able to kind of deal with those basics, those basics there, like get get those covered. covered. And then then I think think it's about you defining like what is something you have skills in doing now and again, are interested in. You can execute in that kind of, those key areas. And I wouldn't call that passion, I'll just call it, what would I call it? Like working, working on your strengths, strengths or, or or like play, playing to your strengths, strengths that kind of thing yeah playing, playing to your strengths, strengths but just doing something 
So, so like, like sometimes, sometimes that, that, that you're, you're, you're waiting, waiting for passion, passion to, to come, come or like, like a, a wind of inspiration to come and it's, it's not going to come. You're going to wait forever. forever. So it's better, better to just do something, something anything. It doesn't even have to be the thing, thing that you're passionate, passionate about or you like. Maybe it's the thing you can do right there and then. There you go. That was, um, what's her name? Patricia Bright, Bright um, uh, yes. YouTuber. I think she's like two, almost three million follow followers or subscribers on YouTube. Yeah. Um, influencer um, as well. She does like style, lifestyle, and she's got a separate channel where she does like finance content called The Break mm -hmm. as well. And the guy interviewing her was Ali Abdal. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he he. I think he was an ex. Um, he was he used to do medicine. Yeah, ex medic. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, I think dropped out to basically, not dropped out, but I think basically left his career in that to mm. pursue a career in YouTube. Yeah, so pursue yeah. his passion. Yeah, to pursue his passion. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, it's so, so yeah, fun. Michael, I mean, I was going to say, yeah. like, you should really answer that question before we jump away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. Yeah, I, I, I do feel like I am following my passion, but it's not as floaty as you know, sometimes when people say, oh, follow your dreams, follow your passion, and then yeah. some people interpret that as like, anything willy-nilly that you're feeling at the time just follow that mm -hmm. but i think yeah. it's more like for me following something that i'm passionate about mm. but mixed with like skill and actual interest and all of these other things as well so mm. yeah i would say i'm following passion but there's a lot of other things added to that as well like it's just not some fairy tale thing no because i know it's going some, to be <laughs> it's going to be difficult serious yeah dollar. yeah Cause it, yeah it's not like a guaranteed especially the what i want to like try and pursue it's not like a clear-cut path or it's not anything that's like guaranteed um or as fixed yeah 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 so i mean i'm already kind of like throwing myself in the deep end and seeing what happens so that whole like floaty thing mm -hmm. for quite a few of us as well can't sometimes it, i don't feel like it applies because you're really taking a huge risk yeah, and yeah mm. it's at times for a lot of people may not necessarily like be in your favor mm -hmm. you kind of have to like twist it to work in your favor in a sense yeah i agree because I, like i think with that whole conversation mm. um with patricia and how i guess i think my my first concern was the definition of what passion mm. is what would mm -hmm. you define it as mm. so for me i think passion is something that is almost like an uncontrollable desire to pursue something mm -hmm. right, that's mm -hmm. what i would consider a passion yeah um the word uncontrollable is probably like the key thing there where it's yeah, like yeah. you whatever you do you always come back to that yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. and that's something that you you can you can do with or without the monetary like yeah. su success in that that field mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i feel like that's what passion is it's like having i guess another word could be desire yeah or for something but I feel like mm. maybe in her particular like explanation, yeah. I think I was speaking to, um, about um, this with Burns and we were saying how like it was confusing because she compared, well, she put desire, um, passion and inspiration. Yes, exactly. Mm. As, the same, as the same thing. Almost interchangeable. Mm. And for me, it was like those on, they, the they don't, yeah, both words are completely different. So I think, yeah, that's, that's, that's where I wanted to start. It's like the actual definition of what passion is. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I agree in terms of like that's exactly what it is that un uncontrollable desire um but i think she even used an example saying that um like i can have the passion to, to like watch netflix like, oh yeah netflix and, and like, that's, 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 that annoyed me i can't lie <laughs> but i can't use it as a career and and when we're saying this where we can disagree with her not like we're bashing mm. i think what she's done is is amazing oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, exact yeah. point and that we just don't agree with personally anyway yeah. but um yeah why would you you can't make a career of eating sweets and watching netflix that's that's called laziness but the funny thing is that you you, <laughs> you could you could that that's the crazy thing. half of people is like jobs on youtube what what we're talking about passions here mm. is actually things that like your you've left your your stable job i guess to yeah. go and pursue something that you see as a passion but that passion is something that you can monetize 100 yeah. percent. yeah right that, now yeah. maybe you can in the future yeah. watch sweets and watch each netflix mm. and monetize from that yeah but right now yeah that's probably not the most realistic thing and to be I, doing right and now. i think that's where <laughs> it got confusing for me in it, that she did kind of like yeah interchange like the two doubled, because yeah. not every passion needs to be monetized anyway yeah like, exactly. i agree yeah I agree. like you know how you are like in the chat you're like oh um i can't remember what the question was something alongside the passions and like monetizing things or can you 
follow a passion without any money being involved oh yeah 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 and i feel like as human beings like naturally we are passionate about things like a lot of different things yeah we can be passionate about colors we can be passionate about people we can be passionate about (laughs) how garments are constructed that just genuine interests and those things make up who we are but it doesn't then mean that we have to follow each and every single passion that we have because that'll be that'll be complete foolishness. Yeah, it, it doesn't even make sense. That like, there's no way I'll be a designer today if it was making no racks. Mm. I'll probably do it as like my, in my spare time. Yeah, yeah. But I wouldn't like the only reason why I pursued it is because there's a skill in that, and I know mm. that you can monetize it. Yeah. So I pursued it. So I guess that's that's the question that Michael was referring to before. Is like, is money the motivator? Or passion. Right. It's not the motivator, but it's. Um, so it's the service that's the like that, that's eventually, eventually, yeah. It, it could lead to the path. It's almost like you know that decision tree where it's like, okay, this. What is your passion? Is this can it make you money? Yes. No. Do you still want to pursue it? Yes. No. Kind mm. of like that's that's the way I see it. Um, and passions don't start from making money. Again, it's an like uncontrollable yeah. desire. So yes, that's yeah. something that's within you that's saying, look, this is something that you enjoy doing. Mm. Go and do it. So for example. I enjoy watching football. I'm not going to pursue a career of watching football because for me, I don't see it as a way of making money. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So mm. I feel like, I think the term of passion, is I don't think it's been defined properly in their conversation, personally. Yeah, because again, they kept switching in and out with, mm. I think, because uh, the thing is like, that's why, that's why I was saying that is the uncontrollable desire because you can have a desire but yeah. not, it, you can control it. Yeah, there's some of some some it, desires yeah. that you genuinely can't control. Yeah. Like I'll give a, a more trivial example. If you love someone, you have passion for the person yeah. in a physical way, yeah. then it's almost low key sometimes uncontrollable. You see the person like whoa, this yeah. person blah blah. But there's some desires like for example wanting to eat maybe because you you love to eat chicken. You can mm. see you can be like actually you know what I'm full I don't need to eat it right. or actually today I decide to eat fish. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's a desire you can control. And I feel like those, I've, he kept putting just a, a casual desire yeah. in comparison to something that you genuinely, in most cases, can't control because you feel like almost incomplete mm. without pursuing it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? She, I mean, she used the example, personal example, of her pursuing um, fashion when she was younger at university. Right. Um, but I think while she's at university, she studied a module in accounting. Mm. Um, and actually she realised that you found a passion in that yeah but she yeah. realised that there was no income or revenue yeah. you can make from fashion at the time which I think maybe things have changed now um, yeah. because I definitely I used to work at ASOS so I already know that you can definitely make money yeah. in mm-hmm. fashion but um, she obviously pursued accounting at the time because it was a stable and steady income but I think for me is that the contradiction is she left her well paid job yeah, of making videos, mm. and it's like you can't say don't follow your passions. I think they were t- they refer to a book um, by Carl um, Newport, um, book was so good they can't ignore you. Yeah, and then uh, I made some notes on it and said that <clears throat> follow your passion is a terrible advice because the chance of you making a career from playing the guitar is minuscule. Instead, of, instead, if you're really good at something, the passion develops to become the thing you are really good at. Isn't that contradictory? <laughs> <tell Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> And I, and I feel and like it's two different things. I think as the well. key thing, though, is what they're saying that as you become good at a thing, it, it then gives you career capital. But that is following your passions, which, like, you have to follow your passions to get to that point. Bro, like, yeah. imagine, like, if you're not good at playing guitar, Facts. then that's fine. Yeah. But if yeah. you're, like, Santana fam, yeah, like, you're actually, <laughs> like, oh, yeah. what's stopping you from going to gigs and making money? Yeah. yeah. Like, that's I, ridiculous. I, I, don't, I don't understand and, how, you and know. And how you're going to get, like you said, how you're going to get to that point in the first place. Yeah. Being good. Like, with all, with all of us as designers, yeah. no matter like our journey here, we were obviously we obviously had some form of passion for it in order to do it for so long that we could yep. then make it a career. Yeah. It doesn't just, oh, today I wanted to be a designer and suddenly there's a thousand pounds, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand in your account. It doesn't you know? work like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, you don't know that. And not to say like it's been perfect because we've all had our own, oh, yeah. you know. Of course trials, tribulations or whatever yeah. on the journey to this point, but we've kept on going because there's a there's passion as well as other things that are there. We see that the end goal or doesn't have to be the absolute end, but you know, mm-hmm. that point seems worth all the risk and the sacrifice and all the other stuff as well. And mm-hmm. I don't know if not having passion would allow you to like keep going. Like if you don't I feel like sometimes yeah. if you don't have the passion or the interest for 
specific things, you're not going to go the extra mile. I agree. To keep, you know, keep, keep on that track and stuff. You may give up. You may just say, what's the point of me doing all of this? Yeah. And almost like lose sight of what you initially may have wanted mm, mm, and mm. stuff. So I just feel like it's, yeah, very weird, the whole don't follow your passions, but then work so good at something so that you can, then you'll be passionate in it. But then... that's It's almost like trickery. Yeah. Basically saying, yeah, oh, don't become the thing that you actually want to become. Become something else and be passionate in that mm. just because it's going to make you money. And that's that's what scares me. It's like she's telling loads, because I know a lot of people are going to yeah. watch the video. Yeah. And she's blatantly saying... Well, she's first of all, she started saying the first thing that she was like said when that conversation started was, I don't believe in passions. Mm. It's like, how mm. does that I know obviously maybe yeah, she might she have said, said it out of like like oh just blurted it out. Frustration. Because yeah. she well, she, she used a word for it. So passions are like I don't want to say silly, but like something. Yeah, she just said the, like on the, along those lines. Yeah. And I think I get what she was trying maybe to say in that point. But we can't fill in her words either. That's that's true. I, I, I know she like, doubled down multiple yeah, times. That's true. That's, I know there's a thing of like not being so wishy washy, and I think maybe to her, I'm a, I can be I'm assuming here in it. So maybe to her, she may see people following their passions or passions being like very floaty. But some people are quite like fixed in what they're passionate about, and it doesn't have to be so um, small or yeah. so like fine tuned. Mm-hmm, if that makes mm-hmm, sense, like mm-hmm. for 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 example, you can have someone who's passionate about storytelling. And there's so many different avenues ways that avenues that, that you passion. can take yeah, that yeah, that you so. can possibly monetize. Yeah. You have people that are passionate about people and they they can work in hospitality, they mm-hmm. can work in community care, radio, they can work TV, in radio, all of these yeah. things. And that that will be like their um not North Star, but like there's another phrase I'm looking for, where that kind of like is their thing that is like the through line in everything that they do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something like the it, foundation for anything that they jump into. Exactly. So that is where I get really confused because even if i like look at her um like career or just like her journey on youtube because i i think the when did i first start watching patricia bright's videos maybe like was it secondary school maybe around the time she got married Raw, bro. yeah wow. so yeah. like so she's been in the game for 10 years yeah now. a long a long time so 2010 wow. yeah and like maybe even before like it's been for a while mm-hmm. and i think i heard about her through a friend and she was interested in makeup and stuff like right, right, back right. in the day and it was something she said like because I, I read um not read i listened to her book i think it's called heart and hustle right i'll double oh, yeah, check yeah, it yeah. um as well and she was like yeah like she started youtube it was something she did for fun she enjoyed and even some of her friends may not have fully understood it but like it's something that she did so part of me was like okay but you kind of you know did something that was, you were passionate about in a sense maybe or you enjoyed i think i don't know if she's saying like the totality of what you're doing is basically because obviously yeah obviously what she said was that passion isn't going to pay your rent yeah yeah so i get i get what she means by not following your passions in its totality Mm. but at the same time how can i put it so when she was doing all this like youtube stuff she was working at a very good bank so she was Mm -hmm. making money Mm. and she was following her passions Mm. But I think what she may be trying to say maybe is that she couldn't have left banking and just done YouTube for the rest of her life. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. But she did. <laughs> so that's, 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 that's where I have a problem is that I get the the logical point of view that she's coming from. I get yeah, it. Like, yes. You can't make if money you, immediately. Yeah. Yeah. And, and especially if you're like, because I know that she, she she kept going to these extreme situations where she was mm, like, oh, yeah, if, if yeah. you know, if you have like, I don't know, people to take care of. And I think even the conversation I was having with Shireen, mm. hello Shireen. Um, shut up, shut up. The conversation I was having with her was, oh, if there's an extreme situation where maybe you have five kids and you can't take care of them and you have a passion, Rather than chase the passion, go and look for a job just to like. Oh, go you look get what I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I get that. But what makes you think even going to look for a job is easy, as opposed to being the like with the passion? At least you have the joy and the drive to yeah. do it because one, you have a family to take care of, so you need to do what you have to do. And like Michael was saying, the passion doesn't have to be a very finite idea. Or, it's a, it's a general saying? thing. Yeah. It, it, it's it's a particular like there's something in. So even Patricia said that as an individual, she, loves she wants, Yeah, she wants to be a creator. 
So, mm. and, 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 uh, and, and that's exactly why I was just there, like, you're both confusing me because, and because they both kind of said, yeah, yeah, we both agreeing, agreeing and then but agree, then yeah. they both left they both their said, careers. He even said, oh yeah, like I've realized I just like creating and I just want to continue to create. So I'm just oh, there like, yeah. so what is, is that not a passion then? And even with him, he, he said, um, Ali said, oh, like on the weekends, like even my friends like wonder why I like 11 know, I'm PM I'm videos and stuff and I'm working, but I don't even see it as work. So I was just there like, what is... You're following like, your person. You're, huh? you're clearly passionate about it. Yeah. If you weren't passionate, you know, you're, you're, you're not going to be staying up till 11 PM to edit anything if you're not passionate about it. You left your job, bro. You are passionate. Yes. That's what I'm saying. It was my contradictory. And, and like, they're both millionaires. Mm. And that's the scary I, part. I, I think it's... Because I, I wasn't sure if it's because of like their journey to following their passion because they did something that maybe they didn't enjoy then they may be like veered towards something else because both of them but they're basically prescribing it to everyone they're like oh because i didn't enjoy that job but i mean my passion now so, so part you, of me, you yeah. have to go through as well part of me is like i don't know if that's maybe their lens because they did things maybe like by the book well, in we terms of like same, getting a good job the same and lens kind of though i literally did accounting as well yeah like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not yeah. so rich, but not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. But like, I left accounting, yeah. to yeah. follow my passions yeah. of designing, yeah. And I did follow my passions, yeah. So here you are, yeah. 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 Jamie, you know I mean? it doesn't, it doesn't yeah. actually make sense what they're saying. It doesn't make sense. I don't yeah. know if what they're saying is that don't just leave, don't finish school and just go and say I'm just going to follow my passions. But why not? Exactly. Like that's that's mm. what that's what scared me. Like. Throughout that conversation, I felt like they kept saying, obviously, and it's very easy because they're millionaires, so yeah, they can yeah. easily say, "Do this, don't do this," mm. without giving you an explanation and go yeah. away scot free. <laughs> but sometimes you have to pull your singlets. No, it's true. It's very true. Hold it a minute. True. Why not? Yeah, because it's like I get like because the thing, them saying, "Oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't follow my passions in the beginning, and then I eventually found my passion in something else, and mm. then I came back to my actual original passions, mm -hmm. or I did my passions on the weekend and worked through the week." You're still following your passions. And also, that's the way you did it. Mm. There are a thousand and one other yeah, people who've yeah. done it, literally yeah, just following their passions yeah. from the beginning exactly. and have become millionaires. Yeah, exactly. and so it doesn't exactly. like so it just it doesn't make any sense for me to have to sit through someone talking about a conversation which, like, genuinely, genuinely speaking, it was very contradictory because I kept going in and out. Like, hold on, are they agreeing or because, like, for example, what at one point Ali said something. Um, sorry, um, Patricia said something, and Ali agreed, but then said exactly like the total opposite of what, what she just said and she agreed i was just kind of like hold on yeah like what is this conversation mm. and i get it again they're both millionaires they can literally go and sit there and just do wah, 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 wah. <laughs> oh, and, and people because because the thing is like we look up to yeah. a lot of people are aspiring to yeah. be millionaires you can easily be like i agree with what all the one one we're saying that's that's the thing though it's funny yeah because even in the um, scriptures yeah in the bible yeah, yeah. she says that when a poor man advises the city or something they brush it. <laughs> like, mm. you know what to hear that? Yeah, <laughs> but that actually gave a solution yeah. to it. Yeah. And for me, is that almost like in this day and age, if you're rich and you have a lot of following, oh. anything you say, so, yeah, yeah, that's the bread and butter of life. You, you know what's mad? You literally reminded me of like all the shows that I've been watching in regards to like tech founders mm. and yeah, like startup yeah. people. And there's one show that I'm what I was finished now called The Dropout, and it's about a woman um, called Elizabeth Holmes who had this like blood testing device startup, and the whole idea behind it was like one drop of blood, and you could test for like twenty to thirty different like illnesses, sicknesses, wow. diseases, and stuff. But it was all like pants, like it didn't, it fake. never worked. It Ooh. was fake. But bearing in mind, this is somebody who dropped out of college with nothing against dropping out of college mm. but like she's not a medical professional right, or a right, medical right, right. student or anything and she was literally like yeah, 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 yeah. like it works it works and she was able to convince so many people mm. that it was possible sounds so like, much sounds like crypto <laughs> 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 no but it's, it's insane and like it got to the point where the company was valued said valued you know valued at a couple billion basically yeah as in she was getting investment after investment. And for some people, because she seemed like a very intelligent woman mm. who knew stuff and was making these statements and was valued at this, you know, amount, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She it's became incredible. incredible. Yeah. Insane because like there was one of her um, professors at her uni that when she first presented this idea to her, mm -hmm. the professor was like, babes, this is not going to work. <laughs> like it's not, it's not working. And she 
he, the professor, was angry because she was just seeing this woman's rise. Uh, and she was thinking, you're a fraud. <laughs> you're a fraud. <laughs> but because, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, you, you write people around you, you've got this um, this look and you've got this money and yeah. all this kind of stuff. It validates and everything. It validates everything. Yeah. And it's insane. Mm. It's crazy. Yeah. Mm. So, I mean, okay. It, 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 it bewilders me. I think I get it though. Like, people that are rich, you're like, okay, they must have done something good to get to that point. So anything they say, I must listen to. But a lot of people that are even rich are not even happy anyway. So really and truly. I mean, she that, said uh, that herself. Yeah. yeah at one she, point. She was saying that she wasn't seen for successful. Yeah. And it's like, okay. Which, so. is, which is crazy because then if you, I know she said like she went to like therapy and like dealt yeah. with that and stuff. But yeah. if you're saying like, ah, oh, you know, you don't feel successful and you've done all of this, then mm-hmm. the people that are following you, what, 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 what does that do to, for them? And half of them can't even afford that therapy that you're going through right now. <laughs> So that's the, that's the peak thing here. You're out here, obviously, preaching. And I'm not saying that, like, what she's saying is bad because mm, I'm pretty sure mm. there's always, like, like like they say, uh, what do you call it? You pick out the stones out of the rice. Mm, yeah. You know? So I get it. Like, there's going to be good things in there. But my thing is, it worries me that the young, especially young women, young black women, who are obviously mm. taking in everything. And it feels like they're using this as, like, I don't want to say cop-out or, like, an excuse to kind of just sit in what they are uncomfortable with because yeah. it's like for for a very long time like especially black people we've been obviously conditioned and told that it's okay to work 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 mm. work double mm. do do two mm. times yeah. the work to the, to the point where you know like, even parents i know some parents yeah. don't even like going on holiday or they don't go on holiday mm. Damn, they don't even know what holiday is doesn't make sense do you know what i'm saying holiday because for them is saturday going to the market yeah yeah and that's <laughs> that's rules mm. do you know what i mean and i feel like we have to I don't know, we have to come out of this mindset of, like, we can't follow passions. I feel like, the, I mean, the simple answer is, yes, you can, but use wisdom, use practicalities. Yeah. If if following your passions looks like getting a job in this place to make some money enough to start off your passions or to make your passion sustainable, go and do that. Mm. If you can go straight into your passions and make money from that, go and do that. Mm-hmm. There's many ways you can do it. Yeah. I just don't like the idea that you're almost cutting off every other path and saying, nope, do it my way. What's that word? I don't even know. But just you finding the right opportunities and stuff like that. Because you could be homeless on the street. You're someone that's super talented. Um, unfortunately, life didn't treat you that well. But somehow you get discovered. And this, this is this is a very, very extreme example. But like, somehow you get discovered and you're out here doing a madness. Like Anderson Park was essentially, I think he was like homeless. And like he was um, for a minute with his girl. And he, he he was working on like a weed farm or something. And he was putting so much work into his music, working, 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 working to his music and stuff like that. But for some time he was homeless. So I think it's so it's so annoying when people are like, oh, giving you examples of, oh, you know, you can't be doing this, you can't be doing this. I, I understand that, but you cannot talk on everyone's situation. You can't. Mm. And people just stop doing it for sake. <laughs> like, let people do what they want to do, for real. Like, it's, it's so annoying that people think they, they can write the blueprint for life and, you know, what it means to follow your passion, how to follow your passion or how you can do this. Also, like, shut up, man. Ah, let people do what they need to do in this life because you're just confusing it. And and you're making people feel like, oh, they need to do a certain kind of way to achieve a certain kind of thing. And we're not all the same. We're not. If we're all the same, we would look the same, talk the same, think the same, act the same. But we're not. Life is very different to all of us. So shut the up, man, and just do your own thing. Jesus Christ. It is so annoying. It is so annoying. <laughs> Love you, baby. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Human. Yeah. The thing is, even with that, um, one thing I realised as well, even when she was speaking, I was like, it's funny enough, culture and context changes all the time. Mm. So, I feel like when you're giving advice, don't make it like, like, almost yeah, like a, a rule, a principle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. don't, if you don't do it my way, it won't work out mm. for you. But I've just like, even on small examples, we're now in a cost of living crisis. Inflation gone up seven percent last month. Mm. Like <laughs> that's that's a whole different thing. Yeah, do you know what I mean? And then maybe another day, um, everything's all good again. Or, yeah, do you know what I mean? Like things are always going to change. So like you can't be given this kind of advice. And then because a lot of people will look up to you. Yeah, and will take these things as like, yep, you know what? I'm going to listen to what she said. Blah yeah. blah. But I think as well, just I don't know, man. It's interesting. It's interesting. Like, how do you even like? Like raising kids, or like if you've got um, cousins or nieces, nephews, yeah. or whatever, like 
well, there's people that are just younger. Like, yeah. how do you, in, yeah, how do you basically not discourage them to follow their passions? Because, okay, mm. I remember back in the day, um, and I, I guess it's the whole context of uh, being, of having role models and being black and stuff, but being black in secondary school, I remember a pair of the guys wanted to be footballers. Mm. Mm. Bears. And a lot of them didn't make it. In fact, yeah. none of them made None of them made it. <laughs> they didn't make it. I'm so sorry. None of them made it. And they followed their passions. And some of them had to like, basically they, they messed up their, their education journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they pursued this. <laughs> you agree with position then? Is that what you're saying? No, no, I'm not saying that. But like, that is a passion that there is a percentage of people that will make it. That, yeah, that that, this is what the, yeah. Like, and the thing is, if you're still passionate about it, some of them have stopped playing football, you know, mm. because of the heartbreak of not getting to a Premier League club. Mm. But like, your passion could be, um, yeah. I now play, you not know, as YouTube, but football teams. You become yeah. a coach. Yeah, football, yeah young it, kids. it's true. Like, I was, even, oh. I was going to say, because I, and I've heard of like situations where like the disappointment of not making it is so like deep that it's like, severe. people like have ended like them, their lives. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Really sad. Mental health and wise I, is a lot. Yeah. 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 And I think it's just, like you said, like showing people or just reminding people there's other alternatives that it's not the end if you don't make this one thing. Like there's other things that you can do. Like you said, yeah. like coaching, there's a YouTube. If it's like your passion, trust me, like you can make you can make it work. Like even mm. me, for example, when I was in the counting, I used to and they did touch on, on this in their um conversation. Um they were saying how like I guess it's like a recent phenomenon where like people are working but also doing their side hustles yeah. mm-hmm. and stuff. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that was me. So for me, like I wasn't a designer in like I don't know a top agency or whatever mm. but I designed yeah, because mm. it was a passion Yeah, no one like no one sometimes people I wouldn't get projects and I will just design for myself Yeah, yeah, because it was a passion but obviously me deciding to follow that is where I am today mm. do you know what I mean and it's like if I wasn't able to go into that industry I still ch- teach creativity at church I still I will still like mental people, I still direct people, I still mm. do photo shoots, video shoots. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's just so for me it's like don't just pigeonhole everything. I feel like, like even like you said, Patricia, <laughs> you were you wanted to be a creator. Yeah. That's what you're doing now. If you were still doing an accountant, you probably will be a creator somewhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, man, I don't think you can I think, yeah, it's a it's a techy discussion, but we hope you're enjoying this conversation. If you're listening to this episode on Spotify, we'd love for you to respond to the Q&A. Other platforms, send us a message on our Instagram or Twitter page at RulerFirstPod or email us at RulerFirstPod at gmail.com. Enjoy the rest of the episode. Because even like using her like career as an example, like her journey or whatever, you mentioned like she wanted to do like, she did fashion and then Mm -hmm. realised there was no money in it. Mm -hmm. But like now, if you like go on her Instagram page, she's very much into fashion still. Yeah, that hasn't and changed. And I, I know she's done a collaboration with um, Amazon. Amazon do this thing called The Drop, I think, with, like, influencers where they, like, do collabs. Okay. And she's, she has one. So, for me, I'm just like, okay, even though at the time, you following your passion there may not have, like, resulted to you actually pursuing a career that that way. Yeah. yeah. The content that, you're, that you create now, or even, like, her most um, successful videos, because there was a point where... Or a lot of like YouTubers, there's a bit of like the plateau before you reach the one mil. Mm. And especially in like the UK, when you almost like maximize your your UK audience. So you have to kind of like expand. Yeah. yeah. So I know for her, there was a time where she just did a lot of I spent videos. Like I spent this mm. X amount yeah, on this brand. Content up. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. she realized, mad, it's actually really successful. And there was like a time where like before I used to like watch her before then and then I just saw a lot of I spent stuff and I watched some and it was funny but I was just there like damn it's a lot of stuff yeah. and like I have my own feelings towards that I guess like fast fashion and all that kind of yeah. stuff yeah. She, I think um, she even mentions that yeah. as well yeah but I was like okay but you can see there that that interest and that's something that you enjoyed actually helped you and your platform like grow even more and it's something that you still dabble into yeah. and you're very much involved in so even though yeah like passions will always kind of still like make their way in your life if you allow them to. Yeah. Just make not in the way that you may expect or mm-hmm. not in the most way in the way that gives you like the most money and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Mm. I agree. I, I think the question that I was thinking was because I, I know she kept touching on it was I guess could you find passion in something that you don't like? 
Because I know she was saying sometimes mm. you might, well, I think it was Ali who was saying actually that you, know, you, you might be into something or you, you can find passion right. in the yeah. ritual of kind of like yeah. just doing it over and over and over again. Mm, I don't think you can. You know? You don't think so? Un- it's uncontrollable desire. How can you have an uncontroll- uncontrollable desire something you don't like? But yeah. then there might be, I was going to say maybe in the, in that there's specific things in that that one may find interesting. If that makes sense. So in terms of like just building the skill of maybe like, it, it might be, it might. Yeah. So almost like you may not necessarily like the role that you're in or the thing that you're in. Yeah. But maybe as you're doing that, there's certain things that you can pick out that then can lead to like the broad passion. So like mm. example, someone that may work in finance may not enjoy finance, but they may like the organizational aspect of right, right. it okay, and, like, and like building the systems and that kind of thing mm-hmm. and because they do it all the time they just know it like the back of their hand and they have to stay on top of things and be organized because i feel like sometimes that's how people find their passion more it's realistic not, yeah, approach to passion it, yeah because yeah, right. it's yeah. not always like for some of us like you know it's just been there or you've like figured it out along the way <laughs> or in hindsight you're like oh i've always been interested in x y and z there's a similarity here. Let me see yeah. what I can do with that. Cause that's how it was m- more for me. And so like in the everyday things that you may not enjoy, I feel like there may be a, a point where you say, okay, I enjoyed this particular bit. And then you can explore that in other areas. So like I have a friend, shout out to Jonathan. Like he, I know he's like thinking about like maybe like other areas to explore. Right. But you can tell like there's like a problem solving, like passion, let's say that he has. Like right, he has right, it. Right, right. In, in inkling for like finding out how to make things work mm-hmm. and to sort that out but that can be like explored in so many other things mm-hmm. outside of just like finance and what he's working in that makes so sense. Yeah, you're right, you're right. That like makes sense. even even when i worked in finance some had to do these reports at month end every month and i loved the organization aspect of mm-hmm. it and like the systems and structure yeah and that's similar with building brand guidelines and yeah systems. exactly yep yep, yep. Even that um imprint church i've been building like systems visual identities mm. that basically communicate what we're doing almost like when you see like um a nike advert or starbucks advert yeah and they may not have their logo on there you already know what it is based yeah. on their typography color palette or things like that do you know what i mean so like i get what you're saying to be fair like that does mm. make sense yeah yeah i've yeah. that loads of different ways because even me like with bioengineering i was really not i didn't which is bad how can i not really care for the products that we are like making and stuff and mm. they're like life-saving and all that stuff but right. i would care more about like oh why is the branding of like this like pipette gun so bad ah, or like I the see. lab environment like if there was a way that it could be designed that it looked a lot better and was a lot more appealing for the people in this space because yeah. they're always here or looking at like something as small as like powerpoint presentations for a lot of my lectures because i was like these are trash right, right these right. are terrible and in my head it was just like something that used to bug me but then also was like a way for me to kind of get more into design and looking at how things are made and that kind of thing so yeah, yeah. i think there definitely is a way for you to like see that and figure that yeah. out yeah yeah because I was, I was gonna speak about the fact that i think perhaps we don't really speak on how people can because you, you don't get to the passion yeah point just like like just that. like that no it, no no it, it takes Always. you kind of exploring mm-hmm. a lot yeah. of things and obviously a lot of times people aren't allowed especially like depending on your upbringing and where you're coming mm. from if you're from a third world country or if you're living in poverty or even if you're you know um middle class or whatever like a lot of people might have different ways of exploring and eventually finding what they're actually passionate at and i feel like we aren't allowed that luxury to explore hence why we're quickly because i uh, we're quickly told to go and find a job yeah and then for, like passion will come when it comes exactly mm-hmm. but that's 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 what is scary because it's like I, I guess it's it's almost limiting mm. and it's kind of like installing if someone tells you forget about passion go and just do a nine to five yeah, for now yeah. i'm not saying anything against nine to five because no, no, nothing at like all. there's still design jobs that are obviously yeah. nine to five and so on and so forth but like forget about passion because i think with, with when it comes to passion you most of the time it's about the the i guess the freedom in that mm, that yeah. arena because yeah. a lot of people might have a passion for even design like yeah. even yourself you're working in a design agency mm. you love design that's your passion but it, it's it's still not giving you that the freedom yeah. that you desire exactly. to explore mm. with and i think maybe that's the part that i guess bothers me when the conversation happens it's like okay cool 
yeah, don't don't forget about passions. Passions are not a real thing. Go and mm. go and do blah blah. But it's like then at what point are you gonna have the time to develop that uh, thing, the the passion, yeah. or to even explore, or mm. even to yeah. to sharpen the skill? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because like design, like we've spoken about, is 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 very broad. And there's so many avenues to go in. Like design itself isn't just sitting on a computer. Mm. Like the designers, like back in the day when computers weren't like readily available with Photoshop yeah. and so on, people were sitting down. Like people who did typography yep. were chopping up blocks like, of yep. wood. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. The Guggenheim, Guggenheim or whatever, the Guggenberg, uh, Gutenberg Bible or whatever it's called. Oh, okay. but like those were like blocks of letters yeah. that yeah. were chopped and then printed. To press on you know the, what I mean? On the press. The, yeah. So it's like. Mm. It, like like Burns was saying earlier, like we live in a different time, but my fear is that we are scarred by the past generation on how life yeah. works. Yeah. Sometimes we want to try to, because we see how our parents had to kind of go through the mud and make it. We're scared to kind of repeat, not repeat, but we're scared to be worse off. Mm. Like imagine all the opportunities that have been afforded us, and then we. There is a pressure being, that we can't we can't do. The way I see it is that. And it sounds harsh, but we almost can't do. We have to either almost be on the same level as our parents or better. Yeah. But the thing is that that's that's the pressure. It's like, oh, we 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 have to be. We can't make it worse. Yeah. And and that's when the fear comes in because you're like, mm. you don't want to pursue your, your passion because what is your passion? Yeah. yeah. What if you could pursue your passion and you end up homeless? That's that's mm. the fear of a lot mm, yeah. of people. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, I can't yeah. pursue it. And then I guess like the age thing comes into play as well because it's like, oh, but your own parents moved to this country when yeah, they were X, 18 Y, and or Z. 15. Context, context. Yeah. yeah. Context. But like, I think, but we did then forget like, okay, remember, it's like a lifetime thing. You know, you don't need to have the instant results and all of yeah. our journeys are so different. I think that's the thing that we often forget in a lot of these conversations. Like for some people, you may have your moment. I don't want to say unfortunately because it, it's still a great thing. Yeah. You may have your moment. At 40, someone mm. else may have their moment at 25. Other yeah. people, yeah. it's at 19. And sure. the way that journey will look like for each person will be completely different. And sometimes you have people that who feel like they have it all figured out and they have their houses and they have their families and stuff, but things may go left in like mm -hmm. a handful of years. God forbid, but like, yeah. you know, things change. You're like, I remember like, I might have said this before, when I initially like tried to like, figure out a career in design and like mm. build portfolio and like try and freelance but I wasn't really freelancing and like volunteering yeah a lot of my friends had grad jobs and mm. it was very much like oh like I think yeah I have said this before like one friend who who meant well she was like oh like Michael maybe like try and find like a job soon because you know <laughs> everyone is gonna and this is around September time and I remember it was Broke like that, Brick Lane <laughs> like, 24 hours yeah that, <laughs> no that September time like you know everyone's going either going back to uni or going to uni for the first time yeah. slash yeah. going to jobs after that summer it's so it's like, a techie period yeah it's like, oh like you know maybe you should find something can you know get your dress so tattered <laughs> get up and no, buy but, some no, I not, like, but, but I was that friend like there were moments hey, where like hey, was it, 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 you look dusty <laughs> no, no, guys, but like sometimes you might be the dusty friend or you might be the friend that can't go out to oh, dinner and stuff yeah. or like things like that or no, but yeah, that's left. or it just might be different but that's just the situation <laughs> at the moment that won't be your forever it just is your right now but that's it can so change crazy, yeah. a lot can change and sometimes now i feel like i have a good idea of where what i want to pursue yeah. but some friends who had that grad job when they started like straight after uni may feel a bit stuck and like, oh, like I actually don't that's know really what's what, what to do in my in life. In this life, there's this plan mm. and this like strategy, this step you have to take to have the perfect life. Yeah. And it's not oh, true. Yeah. Like literally, I remember, um, it's funny, I was speaking to um, Lola about it um, and I was hey, saying, Lola. well, go on. Hey. Hey. Like, anyway. <laughs> that's, my, that's my missus. But um, hey. yeah, what do you call it? I was kind of laughing because I was saying that like, when it was um, applying for um, graduate jobs during mm. my time at uni, I just didn't want to. Uh, I just, mm. And the thing is, I went to go do a finance job, but I just didn't want didn't to. Want to mm. It just looked boring. I, like, legit. I've been spending three years and you're like, you know what? <laughs> no, but nah, it, I, right. I, was, I was there. I mean, with me, when I start something, I got to finish it. You got to see it through. Do you know what I mean? So for me, when I started, I was like, I ain't dropping out. I'm yeah, going to yeah. finish this. I'm gonna finish oh, you it. didn't want to do it all that time you were doing it? No, I did. I wanted to finish it. And I had. I think it was it was a mental battle because even only a few years ago, a few months ago, I actually said, yeah, I want to do um, design full time. Mm. But like, 
I was always had this mindset of okay, maybe me doing accountancy will help me to be a better businessman in the future and do this. So that's the kind of what was motivating me to finish. And for right, me, right. I enjoy maths. Like I still enjoy it now. So it's not really a thing where I didn't have passions, but I was you just have more, two passions. Okay. Yeah, exactly. It's not just one. Yeah. Um, but I think when people were applying for these graduate jobs, I was like, but hey, what is this? It. So you guys are gonna. And no offense, no offense at all. But it's just like for me personally, I was like, I couldn't imagine myself sitting in the office. In a suit, mm. yeah. <laughs> yes. even in summertime, yeah, bro. <laughs> but, bro. But there I, are some people that love that. Yeah, there's people that love that. Yeah, but for me, for me, not for me, yeah, not no, for, but you. for me, yeah. I could not mm. do that. Yeah. I just didn't make, it didn't make sense. It just felt like I was throwing away what God had given me. Mm. It just felt like I was just wasting. Mm. Do you know what I mean, yep. like I'm following some human plan bro. that is going to be this magical key to success. Yep. Mm. Uni. Marry yeah. kids, do, yeah, do all this, yeah, mortgage. Mm. It's literally yeah, and that's, yeah, yeah. You're successful, but she right said that she didn't feel successful, and she's a millionaire. Mm. What more could you get? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my, my life, yeah. When she said that, my heart, my heart dropped. I was like, so, so where do we go from here? <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. This money thing is not, is not, is niche numbers, and it's great to have money. Of oh, course, yeah. we all want she money. Even said oh, it. it yeah. gives you access. It access. gives you a lot of freedom. Access. Yeah, ah. yeah. but it's yeah. not yeah. gonna give you any kind of joy. Yeah. Mm. Do you get me? So that's why for me is like. Pursuing that passion for me was very important because the main reason of me going to accountancy was because, like, it was going to make me money. I hear that. But I hated it. Mm. And mm-hmm. the thing is, yeah, one thing I always say to myself is that how can you make more money in the f- So right now, obviously, all of us are make, making a certain amount of money. Yeah. In five years' time, the, the likelihood is that we're going to make even more money. Yeah. And for me, I felt like if I want to progress in my career... I need to be good, very yeah. good at what I'm doing. Yep. I can't get to the higher ranks if mm. I hate what I'm doing. It doesn't Thank even make you. sense. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank it doesn't even make sense, yeah. bro. Yeah. Do you get it? That's something I actually used to tell my mum. So I was like, That's my sister. Yeah. Mom, she'll, don't think she'll ever listen. But yeah. Oh. Hey, mum. Oh. No, but she just, she's not a tech person like that. So she just, <laughs> maybe I'll give her a trial run and we'll see. But um, <laughs> <laughs> like, I used to tell her, like, what's the point of me pursuing something like medicine or something in science mm. that I'm not passionate about there. And if I'm not passionate about it, I'm not going to perform at my best. Yeah, definitely. And I just feel like I t- I'm t- one taking up somebody else's space, yeah. mm. wasting my time wasting and just time. being quite like mediocre and meh. Yeah. Just, just in it. I just be like an okay doctor. But like, if I'm doing something that I'm passionate in, I know that, like, even though... Desire to be the best at it. Bro, because I think one thing we all have is that desire to be the best at what we do. And whether your Adobe wants to move mad or you've got loads of clients at one time, you're still... There's still that innate desire to absolutely kill it it and be the best and stuff. I used to um, design on some broke up windows. um, (laughs) Yeah. It's a Toshiba thing, yeah. And literally, my design... There's the one you hear the fan of. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> when you put it on, it suddenly is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I literally, I used to mash at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really work was. Yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah, yeah. I was literally working hard. Mm. And I think when I got my Mac um, in 2018, yeah. Oh my gosh. Like, so this is what people yeah. are experiencing. Yeah. And I'm suffering. And, like, it was so exciting. Speed? Do you know what I mean? And now, yeah. now I need to get another one. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, it's like, no matter how my device is working, I'm still going to work hard. Yeah. I'm still going to enjoy what I'm doing. Do you know what I mean? I agree. Mm. It's mad because I did agree with one point they said where it was like, Obviously, not what the whole um, conversation, but they're saying how like passion, like people ask you, are you t- you're still working, you're still working, but actually, mm. no, this this is what gives me rest. <laughs> yeah. mm. It's weird. Profit. It gives me rest. I get a witness. <laughs> but I love designing sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like it may look crazy, like wow, oh, man, still working, but I don't see it as work sometimes. Bro. Yeah, like you're in the zone and you're like happy. Yeah, because yeah. what I can do is slap on maybe. Um, some music, a podcast, mm. maybe a series if it's not, um, it has to be English. I can't do subtitles and do design. No, <laughs> I can't do you subtitles. Can't, you can't read. Huh? Ah. No, it's long. No, it's yeah. long. Because for long. me to watch Netflix, that's not in English. I need to really no, be, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, that's, I enjoy it. It's part, yeah. of, it's part of what I like to do, so. But people don't believe that. I think that's mm. what scares me here. It's oh, yeah. like, people genuinely don't believe that a person can be happy grinding away at something and they're, they're not even thinking about oh what, how much money I'm going to get so on and so forth. The money mm. comes great. Mm. Like obviously, don't get me wrong, we need money to of kind course, of, like, you know, of course, it's the vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. We, we get that and like it's always nice but I think the goal for most, well, specifically creatives yeah. is to get enough money to not worry about exactly. money. Exactly. 
and do what you want to do. Yeah. Like, fam, if you give any creative right now a million, uh, like, pounds, yeah, I bet you they're going to try, they're going to get a new laptop, they're oh, going to, yeah. like, they're going to get things that is, go- first of all, going yeah. to, um, what do you call it? Aid their work. Aid their work. Better, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I just don't understand why people can't believe that a person can be that passionate about what they, they, they're doing. Yeah. I guess because you know? we're, we're, like, conditioned to have to, like, Go into the rat like race, and, plan and, yeah, you know? and this whole like plan A and plan B. Because yeah. I know, like, because even Patricia, Patricia said something along the lines of like, there's a zero point zero zero one oh yeah percent chance of like becoming becoming yeah. successful on doing what she does. And don't get me wrong, like, I know that there's there's not a high percentage of like, depending on what it is actually. Well, she as did well. say more so about zero point zero zero one chance of being rich, rich, yeah, rich especially like from yeah. The, coming from her background. And I hear that, but at the same time, like, I'm, for me, I'm, like, even though, yes, in, let's say, with art, like, it may not be, there's a small chance that things will go away or whatever, whatever, whatever. Mm. I'm still willing to take that risk anyway. Yeah. And I think for a lot of people, like, you said, people that won't do, aren't necessarily doing it for the money. Yeah. Like, the money is, like, a, a, a plus, but obviously, because of the way the world is, we, I, we, we need to do it to like, survive and stuff. So, yeah, it's making that work, but... If you give me a million, no one's seeing me. Give me a million, you're not seeing me. I'm just going to be tucked far away somewhere, just yeah. making stuff happen and just enjoying that yeah. and stuff. And then I know, like, for a lot of us, as because there is this like thing of the starving artist, yeah, and stuff. So, Survive still. So I think that I think that's like the reason why people may look at those who just don't want to follow the money yeah as like kind of stupid and especially yeah, yeah, like the, yeah. w- the world that we live in as well yeah. but because the passion is the passion is there and it's i guess not a lot not i don't say not a lot i guess those people don't even maybe don't feel that or haven't realized that within themselves as well mm, mm. like and that that's probably why that when you look at certain people like it just doesn't make sense but then for somebody else they get it yeah because they know what it's like to have that for something can mm. I think it is, I mean, in an ideal world, of course, we'd want everyone to, like, follow their passions and stuff. Yeah. But because I, I do think that there is, especially if I'm thinking about it from, like, a faith perspective, right? Mm. I feel like there's certain things about us or within us that will kind of help with the things that we do. Yeah. So, and help, like, with serving other people because everything's a service at the end of the day, whether it be design, whether it be, like, being yeah. an accountant, whether it it's working as a nurse or service, working yeah. like as a fast food server or something. We're all serving each other. Yeah. Right. So like those passions or inklings or interests or skills or whatever all together, like surely they would be like, or oh, is it my thing that's been doing? I don't know if notification. Sorry. But like, obviously everything in an ideal world will support each other. Yeah. Yeah. Like, cause the way I see it normally is like of, exactly yeah. a great ecosystem where everything kind of works and everything flows. Cause I know Patricia made like a point about people like mining and stuff and like can they afford to follow their passions and stuff but you may have some people that because of like how much they know about the minds for example yeah. who might have a genuine interest in that it's not all like doom and gloom yeah, yeah, to yeah. those people you have people that live in areas that are deserted and stuff but because they've lived there and because they know about the environment and the way things work and about the animals the whole like biodiversity thing like yeah. how everything supports one another that might just actually be their like interest and passion in nature and stuff as well. I'm not yeah. saying that's going to be every single person in those like spaces, yeah. but it might be some, mm. you know. So I just feel like yeah, it's yeah. and I think um, with with every everything being said, especially about the whole, especially service mm. and like find the passion. I think a lot of times people just negate the joy part of living. Like life is meant to be as pleasant as possible in terms of like you finding the joy in those little corners because let's be let's be real mm. life most of the time is very doom and gloom very dark things are happening there's war here people are dying and you can easily get caught up in that whole cycle and be like you know what the world is dark i'm gonna be as dark as possible as well and just like leak into it but you kind of have to find your way through it. like example is when i'm in ghana like i know people are str- like i can see yeah. like genuinely see people struggling like people like on the road begging so on and so forth mm. but like you can still see joy in that like 100%. there are some people like i like i've been around people who are like mercilessly poor mm. and 
And people, like, I've seen them and, like, they're, they're mad, they're smiling, they're talking. And it's like, wait, what is making you so happy? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like maybe sometimes we forget about that just to kind of get into that whole grind, hustle mm. culture. Do you think, and do you it's think like we're targets, chasing sadness. The targets that we're setting are way too high. It's so, not high. Because the, the reason why I would say like that is that maybe the reason why we can't find Dre in our sort of day-to-day life is because to have Dre means to have made a mill in a year or mm. to but, be on but Forbes. we all know that that's not true though no but that's no but the, the that, general the be- yeah the general benchmark if you think of like we've set as like a generation for ourselves and you feel like okay if i if i make it higher than tar- like targets are mad if you compare it it's kind of funny because like if you compare it to like our parents generation it's like we want to be comfortable we want to be good we want to provide enough for our families and to make sure they're fine and yeah. a good mm-hmm. home and we've almost like forgotten about those bare essentials in right, a sense right in, right in, right in the right it's, it's almost like yeah. it's under underappreciated because it's so easy to get now you think so so for example um if you want to okay for us let me talk about for our, our people our like young black people in the yeah. uk right now mm. majority are, are not, not reality for everybody but majority of us are working in something right now that is maybe making more than some of our, our parents. Mm. Yeah. Do you get yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. already, we're already on that. We passed that. Right. That, that's not even our target anymore. Now we're yeah, looking yeah. up. And now when you have conversations like on Twitter or Instagram or whatever, the conversation you're having now is, hey, I mean, every week you Six see, key, man. see keys. Mm. Oh, like week. new, new, yeah. New, new home. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got my car. Oh, I just got married. I just yeah. got this. And yeah. those are the only goals you're seeing now. Yeah. So the, the little things that of like, okay, Maybe oh, I want to try out this nice restaurant. You don't have enjoy There's in no that joy in that. Yeah, you're right. You're just going there because you've heard someone you went there, mm-hmm. and yeah, and now oh, it's great. Oh, yeah, it's what relationships you're doing relationships with yeah. you. Like it's very like superficial. It's very like oh, agree. these agree. guys. So our targets right now are extreme. That's why when people go to countries that may not have a high GB, um, GDP or may not have a good quality of life, they're like. Mm. Why are these people so happy? Yeah. Mm. Because they're not exposed to this nonsense that we're supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's but true. Time, what's no, it's true. Like, I think when you look at indigenous tribes as well that are so remote, remote. and have their own thing, yeah. like, for all, all we know, obviously they may have their own internal course, things yeah. culturally. Everyone, everyone has issues, yeah. But like, it seems to be a lot more peaceful <laughs> in comparison to Compa- us. In comparison, of course. Huh, it's just, one thing onto the next thing, onto yeah. the next thing, onto the next thing. And well, it's like, again, the rat race, well, running or for something. But when you really sit down and take stock, I know, like, it's like lamentation. It's it's lamentation yeah. in the Bible. Like, it's all meaningless. Like, yeah. I think Ecclesiastes. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, it. Yeah. Wow, I really said lamentation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ecclesiastes, yeah. 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 It, yeah. No, it really has. But, like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. all, like, meaning meaningless. Like, yeah, think yeah. about, oh, having a huge house, like a is, ten bedroom let me, house let me two not, people. Let like, me not say that you can't have joy in that. So yeah, I, no, said, yeah, I mentioned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, hey, no, hold no, on no, a minute. No, 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 don't get me wrong. Yeah, a lot of us would like a a huge house me, with all of these different yeah, things. For and me, stuff. once I get a house, yeah. I'm going to have joy in that. Of course, because that's what I of course want to do, and that's right. I can envision what I want to yeah, do. With yeah, it. yeah, yeah. However, yeah. if you're just doing it because everyone else is saying this is the thing to do. Because for some people, maybe you can't afford to buy a house right now. I think that's what Patricia was mentioning as well. What, what was she saying? She, what she was saying, like, you know, it's not a re- it's not realistic right now for you. Mm-hmm. But it's it might, like, because I think she was talking about how her finances, like, not, not everybody who's taking the course that yeah. she's offering yeah. is going to be a millionaire. But it's going to make your life that tiny bit better. So mm-hmm. don't just say, because you see me buying Chanel bag. So you two, you want to go and buy a Chanel bag. But Chanel bag is not in your, in your tax yeah, bracket. Yeah. If you can go and buy, you know, something from Primark. That's calm. You got a bag. Mm. The bag is about what you're using for it. If you want to just show it off, fine. Yeah. But and even you know, if you want to jump. get a bag like that, for example, maybe is that um we've lost that art of like saving up. Do you remember back in the right. day you could say like mm. somebody was like if it was like a little game or something, you'll save up maybe. You can't save up anymore. Times are times are hard. Now it's now it's Klarna. You get you get quick. God forbid. <laughs> That's very yeah, and then you end up paying that. Risky. Risky. So like interesting. Uh, now everything's just like fast. And you can fast, get it today fast, if you fast. want it. Yeah. So yeah. easily. It's not hard to get a lot of things now. Yeah. And it's like like, when can, when are we going to start enjoying things? Like, for me, that's why I keep on saying day by day, day by day, because it's like, for me, each day I can remember, okay, this is something I'm looking forward to. Mm-hmm. So, for example, today, or today when we're recording, the weather's very nice. Mm-hmm. So, for me, it's like, I want to take joy in the weather. Yeah. So, I dress this particular way. Um, I look for things to do in that day, to mm-hmm. enjoy that day. Rather than like, 
oh, everyone's going to this motive today. So let's jump on it. Let's just roll I hear through. that. I hear that. What do you want to do? Yeah. <laughs> Why is it always like, I want to do what the man is <laughs> yeah. 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 whatever, whatever you man are on, I'm on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about you? Yeah. Like, what do you want to do? But it's, it's like, it's difficult to kind of take account of self because small time year, people are living in this kind of false sense of community. So it's like, okay, I'm on Twitter. Because I'm black, suddenly I'm part of black Twitter. Mm. So anything that black Twitter is doing, I, I need to, to you know what I'm I need to be yeah. a part of it. So yeah. if this is the new hot thing, I need to like, come on, let's be real. Yeah. Most people are, it's easier, f- it's easier to be thought for than to think. Yeah. Sometimes yeah, it's yeah. easy to just be like, this is what people are like, I'm just going to follow. Yeah, just like it's yeah. easy. Oh, right now what, Nike's are in I could just give me Nike. Mm. Like, yeah, that's yeah. all I'm hearing. I'm not going, no one wants that stress because there's so much happening. Mm. I'm saying there's war here. There's this, like who's gonna be sitting like you know what? What yeah. do I really want to eat today? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna take my time and chop these onions and yeah. then cut the gut. You know, like people are just like you know what? KFC. Let me I just go. The best, you know the best example is um Jordans for me because ah, you got caught in the, the hype. Yeah, but I actually like I actually like how they look. Um, but I think for me, I don't wear my Jordans a particular way that I see a lot of people wearing this. Right, right, right. So there's this massive thing in like the sort of um. What, what they call them sneakerheads sneaker yeah like, like don't crease your Jordans my Jordans are creased and <laughs> <laughs> that is simple. and it's them ones where I see people wearing their Jordans and they don't tie their shoelaces yeah and it's like it's, hate it it's so oh, you hate it as well I don't, I don't it. like it yeah. but it's, it's, it's like I, I like I get because you don't want to but who I, told, I get, you, who told mm. you that Getting creases is a bad thing. Mm. It's a material that's going to get creases. I get that. It, it was made to get creases. That's <laughs> yeah. hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Fam, the Michael, Michael Jordan is a basketballer. Yeah, that and might be that literally... the actual purpose <laughs> of the He was creasing them things. He was creasing all the toes. Like, jumps yeah. up, which means he has to literally bend his toes. <laughs> nah, he might not. He just might jump straight <laughs> up. <laughs> More like, <laughs> flat footed. <laughs> yeah. From his hill. Like, yeah. And it's like, that again is that. Why do we think like we have to question a lot of our yeah. things that like, we do all the time? We get into things that are oh, because everyone, everyone likes this. Uh, do you know what I mean? But like, actually, no. Why do you? There's no passion for life. <laughs> 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 now, facts, bro. Because like, this is the thing I've realized here. It's hard to be passionate about a passion of yours when you don't even have passion to be alive and Ooh. actually enjoy it. Yeah. Because, bro, like people yeah. wake up in the morning, it's like Ooh. automatic. <laughs> I have to go and eat breakfast, but no one is thinking like, you know what? I'm actually here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I'm yeah. present. Mm. And today I can make an impact in a tiny Tiniest way or a massive yeah. way, whatever. Like I can literally wake up, go and say hello to my neighbor if I want to. Mm. Like that luxury of just choice. Practically, you know what I'm saying? practically, how do you get to that place of like actually being present? What would you say? Practically, like what's helped for you? Like? like you just have to live, like you have to go through it. Because like, I feel like a lot of people who appreciate life have almost lost life. Or have seen the loss of life, Which and I know it's kind of yeah. sad. Yeah, but yeah, like, get to that point, to you know what I'm saying. Sometimes you need to kind of realize what you what you could lose before you realize what you have, mm-hmm. and it's sad because, like, let's be real. If every day you're eating, I don't know, um, banana bread. Yeah, if you're, if every day you're eating <laughs> banana bread, yeah, and then suddenly they're like, oh, there's a shortage of uh, so- shortage of bananas. No bananas yeah. are gonna be sold for the next six months. Mm-hmm. Then suddenly you're gonna be like, wait, bananas. <laughs> but that means wait, no bananas, no banana bread. And then in the six months, when you do end up after like, okay, now bananas are back and you have mm. that banana bread, Ooh. you're going to be like, oh, I've missed banana bread, yeah. fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it's, know? It's interesting though, because we, yeah. we, I guess globally, we've all had that with the pandemic. Yep, yeah, yep, we, did, yep. Yeah, we, did, we did. So You see how people were going out mad when everyone like, oh, oh yeah, finally, oh. come on. <laughs> you but, know? But yeah. I guess it's, you know, unfortunately, because of the way you can say like the economy is, yeah. that's probably maybe pushed people to say, okay, you can't really afford to do X, Y, and Z. So we need to like run back into this race and get into like, you know, hustle yeah. and do all this kind of stuff. But it, I, it, I guess sometimes I feel like it annoys me that sometimes, I know for me, sometimes I'm the type of person that I have to learn through going through nonsense yeah or go, the hard way. And then I'll be like, beans, oh, bro. congratulations. You played yourself. <laughs> now, and sometimes I feel like there are warnings or like there are like little inklings of, okay, mm. gives you a glimpse of maybe the reason why you shouldn't do this thing anymore. Yeah. Why, why should you appreciate this? Yeah. But sometimes I guess people have to learn the hard way of that. But it would be nice, I guess, if even if it's just like practicing stillness or like implementing certain things into your day to try and like think that way and like renew your mind or reset your mind. Yeah. Because I know like, for example, people meditate in order to like be still. Yeah. And to just focus on, Declutter. you know, yeah. free up their mind and stuff. 
and maybe it's the need for certain practices that will allow you to kind of do that because I know for me that's also part of the reason why I said I need to maybe like leave mm. because bearing in mind the type of like creative I am is a bit it's good and bad like you know how we describe like oh like if when we're like designing something it'll be like 3am and we haven't stopped yeah and yeah so like with work I'm the type of person that I can easily work through a lunch I can work through whatever won't really have breakfast the stuff is Jesus. done then i might do it after but that's just unfortunately uh, the bad part. Yeah, basically <laughs> but that's like the bad practice that i've gotten myself into and afterwards i'm so lazy that i'm just like i'm just gonna get a delivery ah uh, yeah and yeah, yeah. yeah the, the the bills are adding up too much so i need to stop and plus i really can't be doing that when i leave because <laughs> but um yeah like <laughs> you got like now got rice at home. bro but now i'm telling myself like okay in the lead up to me like leaving and also when i have left mm. i actually would want to like implement times when i actually do cook because i remember having a th um talking to a therapist about this while at work mm. it was like oh like why don't you try and just cook like one meal a day or one meal a week and like use that as time for yourself trust me it helps bro yeah because it really does it slows down life mm. you get to appreciate that yeah 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 like, when i'm cooking or baking or whatever mm. slap on something music or podcast or something yeah, she just cooled off. I like just zone out. I'll be in the kitchen cooking like a week, a week's worth of me meals, mm. and you realize how much attention to detail. The fact that, and it's mm. funny because as designers, yes, we create stuff, but like yeah. you're creating a meal, and people don't realize that that's actually a process as in well. In itself, like yeah. You're there, you're yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. You're, all your attention mm. is about making this right, not mm. burning the onions, or you know what I'm mm. saying. Yeah, it's it's beautiful to just kind of like get all your eyes off the screen. Yeah, yeah, and just like. I think also with passions and not having to monetize them, yeah, like hobbies and stuff, I think things like that are so important because especially in today's society when we can be so fixed on the things that we have to do mm -hmm. and the things to check off our list, it will be yeah. it's nice to just like, oh, okay, I want to read. Like even for me, I'm, I bought like the book Dune because I'm just like, I have not read. Mm, like a friend sure. on Twitter asked like, oh men, just randomly asking like, do you guys read fiction books? Mm. And Im Im immediately I was like, damn, time, you know? bro. Like the last time, been a minute, I think it was uni. Bro. And it's actually true. for me, like in school, secondary school, I sound like everybody was on it. Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound like a neek, but in year seven, they're like, oh, the award for the person who took out the most books. Hey. Me. And I was yeah, just that's like, like still. no, it is. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, but right. like, but that, <laughs> 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 me, I don't care. I'll yeah, take yeah, it yeah, because, yeah, like, yeah. I love those interests as well like fueled my creativity like i love the idea mm. of like storytelling because of the th things that i got lost in as a mm. child mm -hmm. so it's like wow when she, my friend asked that question i was like huh when was the last time i read i need to like go back to that space mm. because that was a happy space for me yeah and because of oh you're working now you're doing this you're doing this you neglect all of these things that are actually quite important to you yeah and i I think that was one thing in like the whole like passion conversation with like Patricia that really got to me because I was like, but passions are still like important. Very, so, very much so. Yeah. Mm. Cause I mean like every single day, I think that's the thing that keeps people even going yeah. most of the time. Like people are looking forward to the weekends to spend time on their passion. People are working nine to fives or doing odd jobs or doing mm. jobs that they really don't want to be doing because they for want fun, to yeah. fund their actual passions. Mm. So it's like, I just feel like for, for a conversation to then push all of that to the side and basically say like that's that's what triggered me the, the, what triggered me was when she said that i don't believe in passion mm. for me it's like you can't say that mm. you know what i'm saying it's it just it doesn't make any sense what do you mean you don't believe in passions passions exist like it's a real thing it's not like oh i don't believe i don't it's like saying i don't believe in racism mm. that, like that's 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 the equivalent for me it's like mm. oh i don't believe in what do you mean it, it exists just, yeah. like with or without you it's still gonna yeah, be there exactly. so what makes you think that you become like the authoritative um figure on that particular topic if you talk about millions and making money yeah you can talk about that but mm. passions even poor people have passions so yeah. who are you who are you to say like you know passions don't exist it's just it's just strange to me you know yeah thanks guys for tuning in to today's episode of rule of thirds feel free to share your thoughts with us using the hashtag rule of thirds pod and for more from us follow us on instagram at rule of thirds pod or our personal accounts for myself, Burns, Burns J and R, Mike at underscore man like Mike, and Jude at Kente Kwame. Catch you guys in the next one.